edition of Fox 43 AM Live is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Chris McGee, Managing Partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, has joined us for our latest segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good morning. And thank you for coming in and working on Labor Day. And give, uh, given the focus of this holiday, I thought it would be appropriate to get your comments on the challenges and opportunities facing workers in Kansas and across the country, uh, people who have contributed so much to our staff, our state and nation's uh, strength, prosperity, and well-being. Hey, Dane, it's always a pleasure to be with you and our viewers, and it's never work. It's always fun. It's a labor of love. Now with respect to Labor Day, I believe it's important to note that the baby boomer generation is aging into retirement and that's causing a labor force participation to decline in Kansas and across the country. In fact, over the past 20 years, the share of prime working age individuals aged 25 to 54 has been declining while individuals 55 or older has been steadily increasing in numbers and makes up roughly a quarter of the state's workforce. It may present opportunities for younger workers to fill openings created by retirement, but it also presents challenges for employers needing to fill the vacancies. It also is possible that older workers will remain in the workforce longer because they're not financially prepared for retirement. Another unknown is whether employees will be replaced by artificial intelligence or AI uh, to take the place of the workers in some industries and what are more industries likely to do so than others. Mm -hmm. And shouldn't labor shortages attract more workers into the state then? That's a reasonable assumption. However, according to the Kansas Department of Labor, Kansas was one of only eight states with negative migration from July 2022 to July 2023, indicating more individuals moving out of the state than in. Of course, that could change given favorable conditions for workers and very reasonable and attractive cost of living in Kansas compared to other parts of the country. And Chris, shifting from a, like a macro perspective to a micro one focused on individual workers, what are you most concerned about? My biggest concern are the conditions of individuals or household retirement savings plans and their ability to make prudent, cost-effective, and, co and tax-efficient savings and investment decisions. I know this subject is immense, but can you give us an idea of just a few of the issues that may uh, face each generation of workers? The baby boomers have accumulated more retirement savings than younger generations, which is no surprise because they've been around longer. A significant amount of their retirement savings is invested in traditional IRAs and 401k plans, where their investments may grow tax deferred until distributing them it's possible that for some of these individuals, their distributions could be taxed at rates higher than they anticipate. That is why it makes sense to consider utilizing Roth IRAs and Roth 401ks for a portion of their retirement assets. Income tax is due upon funding these plans. However, withdrawals are not subject to tax so they present an opportunity for more tax efficient means of receiving retirement income. And how about the Gen Xers who are right behind the boomers? Many Gen Xers were hit hard in some of their prime earning years during the financial crisis and hit during those, again, during the pandemic. One way to help get their retirement savings uh, plan back on track is to take advantage of catch-up contributions to their IRA or 401k plans. Doing that along with exercising more restraint on discretionary expenditures and employing other savings and investment strategies may help them bolster their retirement prospects. And Chris, before we have to go, uh, what suggestions do you have for the younger workers out there? Start saving as much as you can now. It doesn't have to be a huge sum. 
uh, but just do it and take advantage of qualified retirement plans offered by your employer or establish a simplified employer pension if you're self-employed. And for everyone else, regardless of age, consider conferring with a trusted financial professional who will listen and understand your unique situation and help you to develop and implement a retirement savings and investment plan that makes sense for you and your family. Okay, well, Chris, as always, good job. That was a little Labor Day pun, by the way. <laughs> and we always appreciate your time. And, of course, everyone, to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.